Just shy of 615 this morning for the third time in two years, the Kansas Supreme Court has declared school funding in the state to be inadequate. Yesterday, the high court ruled that the latest funding package from state and lawmakers didn't allocate quite enough money to schools. So now lawmakers have until the end of April, middle of April next year to come up with a solution to present to the court before a decision being made in late June. And Kansas Governor Jeff Collier joins us right now to talk about all of this. So Governor Collier, uh, you know, the June 30th deadline that you were facing, that the legislature was facing, extended a year, just given a nod to increase inflation. Yeah, it means that schools that. are going to be open this year. Yes. Right? And that's a very straightforward, so parents can be certain of that. We take that off the table. What the court asked for is that we have an inflation adjustment and that we have to apply that in future years. I think that's something that we can deal with in the legislature. No small amount of money, though. I mean, that is significant. Yeah. Do we know how much that is yet? What's the process for that? We don't have we don't have the final calculation yet, and we'll be going through that process. Then the legislature will have to approve it. I would have to sign that into law. It looks like uh, something that would be pretty manageable. The budgets are going to be tight. But the Kansas economy is growing. We actually have a surplus this year, and so I think it's something that, as you stair step it in over five years, and that was very important for us. We stair step it in. We can get this done and get the money into the classroom. One of the wins you were talking about earlier and that we met yesterday, we heard about from the Supreme Court was the questions of adequacy and equitability or mm -hmm. equitability there. That one of those was met, the court said. That's you? right. The equity portion, what that means is that there's the same amount of money or an equivalent opportunity, I should say, not the same amount of money, right. but the same opportunity, whether you're in Garden City or Johnson County or Wichita or Leavenworth, that we meet that standard. And I think that's a very important one that every Kansas kid by the court's measure that they have the same educational opportunity. Now, and you've, you've been quick to point out many times during your term as governor already that this has been a long-standing process. You've said before you're the 10th governor having to deal yeah. with this kind of thing. You are not the only person running for governor. There have been other groups that have mm -hmm. mentioned are pushing for a constitutional amendment to the Kansas State Constitution to not allow the Supreme Court to be the kind of judge on this kind of thing. Is that something you're continuing to, to support? Yeah, I would support that. Letting the people decide on this uh, issue would be reasonable. But I think, you know, right now we're dealing with the problem mm -hmm. and I think, you know, we're going to be happy. Schools are open. Well, two questions people have the, to get this fixed by that April deadline next uh -huh. year. Why wait? Why not call a right. special session? Because they don't go back until January. So that only gives you, you know, three months instead of starting sooner. And uh, you'd said you want that to happen without raising taxes. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Where's the money come from? So the Kansas economy is growing. Last month we were $100 million over estimates. And so it's something that will keep our, our costs down. And as the Kansas economy continues to grow, that's something that we should be able to match. You think and that'll cover it? Yes, and most of our estimates show that we can be very stable with that. And that's why we spread it out over five years rather than over two or three. And by doing that, that really allows the schools also to absorb it and actually you know, work on improving the classroom. Why no special session? You know, the money, the fiscal year begins on July 1st. And so our normal course of business for next year would be to finish it in the next spring. So. We don't need the money right now to do this. We've appropriated all of the money except the inflation portion of it. And so that's really a touch up uh, sort of thing. We present the full budget. I'll present a budget for the next two years this coming January if we're reelected. But it will present that budget and that'll include the funding that we need there plus the where we're going to be in the following years. Complicated process. Do you think January will be enough time? Yeah, uh, you know, the legislature got this was a much bigger decision that we had earlier this year and we got it done and we got it done in an expeditious way. And I'm very confident that they can do that again. We've been talking a lot about immigration. Obviously, we wanted to look mm -hmm. what well, we had you here on the desk this morning. We couldn't let you go without asking yeah. about some of these children that are being brought to Topeka right now. What do you see as the next step in that process and how it's been handled so far? You know, the federal government has to deal with the issue. That's the important part of it. Uh, we did have an inspection. Uh, we had uh, our team go over and see the, the villages. Mm -hmm. They reported back that the kids were being treated well, that their needs were being met. But this is the federal government is the one that's in charge of that. And they're the ones that call the shots. There are nine children in Topeka mm -hmm. that were separated from their families. Is your office in contact with the president's office with anyone from the federal government to see when they might be 
reunited with their families? Yeah. That's not something that the federal government would normally tell us. They go through their own processes there, and so they're going to continue. They have a legal process mm -hmm. that, that's involved. Is it difficult to see all this kind of firestorm about that issue going around and know that Topeka has a part in it, the part, a part that's being played, and not really, I mean, your hands aren't tied necessarily, but know that that's not your purview to, to, to watch. You know, it, it's a difficult situation, but, you know, the kids are being taken care of. Here's the thing, though. Washington, D.C. needs to deal with the immigration right. issue. You know, the, le the federal Congress is going to be voting on that, hopefully later today. I want to see the federal government solve the problem. We need to secure the border and make sure that we take care of our immigration issue and that we have legal immigration. We deal with it in a formal legal manner. Okay. Governor Jeff Collier with us on 41 Action News this morning. Thank you, Governor. Good seeing you.